DJ and producer Brills started out as a drummer and guitarist playing in rock bands years ago. During this time, Brills was also getting into the rave scene in New York. And once he started producing his own electronic music, he never looked back. Brills was recently in San Francisco to play a sold out show and we spoke briefly about his past life as a drummer and guitarist and also his latest EP, Geekin, which features collaborations with a few rappers. I never met him before, I just, um, you know, I worked with Q when we did something with the Low Pros, which was with uh, A-Track and uh, Lex Luger and so, um, and I love his music anyway, so, you know, um, I hit him up about working on something. And then Gangsta Boo, like, you know, she did a lot of stuff um, with Sinjin Hawk and a couple of records that I liked. So I just heard those things and thought, like, I could probably do something pretty cool with them. So we just got in touch and just started throwing ideas around. San Francisco! What was the easiest song to work on for the CP? I don't know, man. Are any of them easy? I mean, it's a labor of love, you know? But yeah. I really just try to take the time to flush out ideas and test them out live and make little changes and, you know what I mean? It takes, you know, it takes like, you know, maybe a couple of days, maybe even one day just to come up with the idea. Mm. Um, but then it takes, you know, like a couple of weeks of playing shows to really kind of like flush it out and like tweak it up and, you know. Is that something that you took from your past life as a drummer and guitarist performing in a band that you were previously in? Test driving material live to see how things flesh out and no. then make tweaks in the studio? No, not at all. In those days you get in the studio and then you're like, all right, you ready? And you just put it down and then your job's done, you know? And then there's a producer or, you know, whoever, you know, if the band's like working on their own stuff, it's like once you lay down the drums, it's like, okay, well, are you gonna record them all again or not? But with electronic music, it's different, man. You got the computer out, everything's right there. You could change anything you want at any moment. So it's a blessing and a curse, you know? Because a lot of times you can just like overwork things, which is the curse side. But the blessing is you could play a song out, needs a little bit more bass, or you want to speed it up, or you want to like uh, switch the arrangement, you know, you could do that. So it's definitely in modern technology. Your past life, as I just touched upon, yeah, you you, you had already were on the, the the path, yeah, opening up for well-established acts, yeah, everybody from Wigan Park and Stained mm -hmm. and Limp Bizkit even, right? right? Looking back on it now, hindsight is twenty twenty. Would you have gone into that realm with that style of music first, or would you have gone into electronic music at that period at that point in time, knowing what you know now? I don't know. It's a really good question. I never really thought about it. Because um, electronic music was pretty big at that time as well. Crystal yeah, Method was out, Prodigy absolutely. was out, right? I think it was a matter of the advances in technology that happened during that time, I think, is what really attracted me to it. And so, yeah, knowing what I know now, but I think the real question is if the technology that we had now the ability to create like the music that I made from start to finish. If that was around then, then I absolutely would have gone into it. You know? And like I was like I had like little drum machines and I would like program, you know, beats back then even though I was a drummer and had like a rolling groove box and I'd make like some like weird like tech house. Those were like the raves I was going to in New York. Even as a drummer, like I was still going out to raves all the time. I think what happened was in the process of recording in that band I just learned the studio side of things. And then I just realized, well, if I learn this, then I can just make a whole song by myself. So it was just like the journey, you know? Yeah. Of getting there. Right. You know, hindsight, I don't know about hindsight. <laughs> hindsight, it's better to look forward. It's better to be in the moment. Don't even look forward. Just like look right here, you know? Focus on the music I'm making right now. That's, that's my vibe.